Yes, they're sweet eggs. Don't judge me. Right, today we're going to go out on the bike and see if we can find something interesting. Right, I've got my super Primark cycling gear. Do you think my bum looks big in these? These are some of the remnants of all the sweeties I scoffed in bed last night. I'm such a fat lad. I'm just getting ready to go out. And this is what I found in the kitchen. Nice. Right, the plan is just to head down to Whitley Bay and have a little potter about, see if I can find something nice. Nice. Welcome to Whitley Bay with a huge dog's turd. So we're going to have a little head along to the lighthouse, which is there. Do you think a 55 year old bloke would look weird doing this? I still want to get on my bike and have a go, but I'm just going to look weird. I better not. <laughs> There's something strangely attractive about graffiti. I have no clue what it means. I hate to admit it, but I quite like graffiti. So this is St. Mary's Lighthouse. And this is something called Curry's Point. Apparently some bloke years ago, I don't know, 100 years ago, end up killing somebody, don't know why, and his body was put on a gillet and hung here um, for all the kids to see. Can you imagine? You know, come and bring the kids down to the seaside for the day with a little bucket and spades. There you go, darling, go and find some crabs. Oh yeah, you can have a look at the dead body with the crows pecking its eyes out. Nice. Out my way. So going over the causeway. Hope that hope the tide isn't due in. Look, seals. Real wild seals. Looks about like me in the bath. It might be me being paranoid, but I'm sure that seal has given me evils. Yeah, St. Mary's Lighthouse. An, an impressive an impressive thing. Apparently it used to be a chapel and they flattened it and built a great big lighthouse on top of it. It was a bit unfortunate for the monks who lived there, going about the business, polishing the cross. Polishing the cross sounds rude. I've just been told off of some random bloke for uh, cycling along here. I mean, as you can see, it's really busy. As he was telling me off for cycling along the really busy place, his dog was having a big turd. Now you tell me, which is the worst crime? Some child's left their random little truck there. Take it or leave it. Hmm. Right, gonna head to the Rendezvous Cafe now. It's some Art Deco cafe on the seafront. It's been there for like, well, forever. Um, but yeah, they do a, a mean cheese scone, I've heard on the grapevine. So I'm gonna give that a bash. Hiya, could I have a cup of tea? Are you got any cheese scones? Yes, cheese, yep. Yeah. And a cheese scone? Cheese. Well, this is not bad. Peach. Cup of tea. And a cheese scone. Now 
I've just dropped half the cheese scone in the goddamn sand. Oh well. This is nice. Cheese scones are nice. Here's a tip for the day. If you drop your cheese scone in the sand and then try to clean it off, it doesn't work. Just saying. I have a furry friend. Nothing to do with the cheese scone. It's a bag. Yeah, no, There's nothing can't. in it. Give me my wrapper back. Have you not heard of COVID? What? <laughs> it's like dog army down here. Gotta love dogs. There's some, something quite liberating about cycling on the beach. Maybe I'll get towed up for that too. How cool is this? I have just spent 90 pounds on these. Brand spanking new boots. Guess what? They're leaking in the tiny little puddle I've just went through. Is it me or did that dog look like Hannibal Lecter? I've got to try this. This is so appropriate for a 55 year old. This midlife crises go, this is, uh, this is an interesting one. I think it's good. <laughs> no fair play to you, Paul. Yeah. My wife thought I was joking, so I'm going to get escaped. Oh, yeah. Of course she hasn't divorced you yet, then? No, not yet. <laughs> she has left me. Yet, so. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, that skate, skateboard park was fun. Was that appropriate for a man in his 50s? Probably not. I think the seagulls around here could do with a lesson in personal hygiene. So this is what's left of the Spanish city in Whitley Bay. The dome. I remember I used to come down here as a kid and there was like loads of rides. But there were big like rickety wooden antiquated things. I remember the uh, roller coaster and it was bloody lethal. The roller coaster and the twister. I mean people got seriously hurt on these rides. And now they've gone. I kind of think why. Right, off to the co-op. One of the best things about COVID is you can walk around like this, looking mental, and nobody bats an eyelid. You know, talking about the co-op, remember years ago, you, when you went to the co-op, you used to get little stamps, and you'd put them in a little book, and you would like take them back and you could get things, I don't know, free food or whatever it was. I remember when I was a kid, I made up this stupid song about the co-op. And it went like this. I went to the co-op and bought some stamps. I put them on my guitar and started to dance, and rock, a rock around the co-op shop. Is that a bit mental? Saying rock, rock around the co-op shop. So this is Tymouth Priory. He doesn't look very dodgy, does he? And this is Tyne Mouth, because it's the mouth of the Tyne. I really need to be on BBC World History. And this is the northern version of Baywatch, I guess. Life Brigade Watch House. Do you think it's got hot totty like Baywatch? Doubt it. I bet them seagulls are going to shit on that car. There's a little boat out there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's packed full of people. Illegal immigrants comes to mind. Nice bookshop. Does anybody read books anymore? Drawings of Mervyn Peak. Introduction by Hilary Sperling. She looks well dodgy. I thought 
thought everybody had become religious all of a sudden queues outside a church then I realized it's a COVID vaccination center oh dear I don't look dodgy at all going into the shop well heading home now well to my stepfather's house I'm trying to think what the purpose of this video was a load of nonsense really and this is how you trick a budgie into liking you yes. say something profound budgie 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 <laughs> Thank you.